Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a relationship reading. We do, Sagittarius. And we have all kind of little critters here that kind of want to be with you, right? We have a fox, a raccoon. Uh, and then over here we have some vampires, right? Yeah, really kind of cool. Here's the hermit. Maybe there's a Virgo. <laughs> but we're not sure who uh, exactly who 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 you're waiting for. It does look like you're waiting for somebody in this reading. Uh, or you are intuitively hoping, and then there's like a weight, you know, there's a weight to that too, right? Esperar in Spanish is, uh, it kind of means to wait with hope, right? I mean, why would anybody wait without hope? But, you know, I uh, hope you guys are all well. Let's get into it. And the heart of the matter here, Sagittarius, is daydreaming. We have the Seven of Cups. And I believe that this person is daydreaming about you, right? You guys know that song by... Uh, Aretha Franklin, daydreaming and I'm thinking of you, right? It's really a beautiful song. Mm, it is. Uh, and she says, you know, he's the kind of guy. Uh, yeah, she just is really like smitten with this, with this man. But this person's smitten with you, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. I feel like they want to heal the ouch with you. Here's the the raccoons playing the doctor or the nurse. I suppose it's the nurse. Yeah, it looks like a nursey kind of hat here. Uh, and then, you know, here's the fox, right? And he has like a night, this kind of, you know, cold pack on his head because, you know, he fell down and bumped his head, I guess, right? Uh, and so here, you know, here's the raccoon. We have spirit of place in this reading and wide open. You know, the spirit of place is where somebody's kind of all in their intuition here. They're all like, and they could be daydreaming, but they're using their intuition here. That's really what it's about. And uh, let's see what they say about that, because I feel like it's a little bit more than just what I'm saying, right? <coughs> let's see briefly. And uh, yeah, this is authenticity is the essence of power. The answer to your question is in the theme of your circumstances. If your inquiry is about struggle, release control. If it is about finding love, then embody it. Somebody wants to love you here, and they're going to embody this, Cap uh, Sagittarius. And what I mean, this embody, maybe they didn't do this in the past. That's kind of what I get out of these readings sometimes when we see this kind of energy here. I feel like this person wants to heal this with you, and now they want to like embody the love maybe that you wanted because I don't feel like in the past, this looks like, let me come home or let me return to you. That's, that's how this reading is. And then the wide open card, mm -hmm, somebody wants somebody wide open here, right? In, in many ways, <laughs> it's terrible for me to say that, <laughs> right? In many ways, that's okay. Physically, emotionally. Uh, what else? Mentally, uh, spiritually. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, especially next to spirit of place. So we have, you are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. All manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. Really interesting because I did a reading yesterday and I said, Sagittarius, you're bringing in opportunities for yourself. Yeah, you are. Uh, I, I turned around and changed the... Uh, yeah, I changed the title and I put it at the end, but you know, I didn't, you know, I just kind of put it on the end, but yeah, you're bringing love. You're attracting love. I feel like you are also attracting creative opportunities, right? And the three of pentacles here can talk about that. This is your current, your current situation. It is. And so, but right now the wide open card is a signal that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and that your goals are in sight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream. Yes, you're dreaming grand, grandiose dreams here. I feel like it has to do with love and this person, right? And so here you are, Sagittarius. You have the Page of Cups or the Knave. This is about usually news. I feel like you could be daydreaming and waiting for them to bring you news. Uh, but it looks like this person is definitely daydreaming about you. And it does look like it's for a reconciliation with the three of cups right here. And they want to enjoy you. And they said, Sagittarius, I want your full attention. I want you to be wide open in every possible way. <laughs> if you're a woman, you're going to be understanding that, right? The four of swords, Sagittarius, is here. And this is part of your, it's part of your like, 
your current situation, but here's, uh, this can be watchfulness or, or a vigil, a vigil kind of, right? And these people are watching this man who's laying down, dreaming about his new beginning. You could be, uh, possibly, I feel like you're watching and kind of waiting for this person to come here. Yeah, I feel like you are. There could be somebody jealous or angry here, kind of. It's possible that, yeah. It's also possible that whoever is trying to come heal this ouch with you, Sagittarius, somebody could be wa like watching them. It, it could be in this reading, right? So down here, Sagittarius, let's look at the past because it, it always kind of paints, you know, it does always have a, a I mean, in, in some ways it has very uh, relevance to the future. It does. Uh, it depends on the situation or the dynamic, right? Uh, we either want to use the past to grow or we want to completely leave it behind. It's kind of either or, right? Okay, we have the strength card, the nine of pentacles, and the ten. Uh, here's the back of the rich lady who's on her, you know, on her vineyard. She is. And, uh, and over here is the strength card. Let's see what these cards kind of... We know what they mean, but this is a different deck it is, right? Yeah, we can't use the same deck every day. We'll just go out of our minds here. And the strength card here, it's typically always courage. Yeah, and it could be moral strength. Wow. Moral strength means you, you have, you like, you take the initiative to do what's right and you have courage to do it, right? It's kind of like, you know, like anything, like... Um, it, it could be that this person wasn't moral with you in the past or wasn't fair. I, that's what I kind of mean by this reading. I don't feel like they were fair. And now they want to come back and make everything right. Yeah, they do. And heal the ouch. Yeah, this person is wide open too. And they are in their spirit of place, right? They are, which is, you know, their intuition definitely, right? And so... Let's see what the Nine of Pentacles is about with the rich lady there. And, you know, she's wearing her whole hat and the whole kit, kit and caboodle on her vineyard. And uh, mm -hmm, Nine of Pentacles, well-being and tranquility. This is in the past. I feel like this person here realized that you bring them well-being in the past. And this is why they have this kind of moral courage. It could be you. It could be vice vice versa uh, Sagittarius and the ten of pentacles is home and continuity mm -hmm. I don't feel like this person wants to let you go when we see continuity like let's continue honey because I realize that you bring me well-being nobody wants to let go of anything that brings them well-being unless they're insane right we got the little lobot lobotomizer over here Sagittarius in case we have to use it on anybody we do first we try electric shock therapy right I used to always say that in Capricorn's reading, but you know, first we try uh, other, first we try natural methods, right? We just give herbs. And then if that doesn't work, then we have to resort to uh, horrible things. <laughs> we want this person to wake up and it does look like somebody woke up in this reading. It does. And it looks like the person who wants to come and, uh, and play house or be with you or and not play house, but really play the part but play the part of a really good person it does look good because of this moral courage over here yeah mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. the, you're home to this person Sagittarius yeah and you bring them well-being or tranquility it's the same thing really right pretty much okay and let's look at their perspective here Eight of Wands, the Wheel, and the Three of Chalices, right? So definitely they want to drink with you, Sagittarius. Here's the Three of Cups. They said, what do you like? Would you like mojitos? Uh, I feel like this calls for champagne, all right? I feel like it does. <laughs> I feel like it does. So we also have the Eight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, this is their perspective. They want to reconcile with you. You're the wheel. But they think you're a divine partner. They do. And they know this is divine timing right? And also with this eight of wands, Sagittarius, that is change. They want change and growth with you. And here they are daydreaming right here. And this guy is a happy daydream, right? Interesting thing about this card though, is that this girl over here, he's daydreaming about what, about his choices, right? 
And here's the little girl over here. One's happy and the other one has her eyes, her hands over her eyes like, oh God, it's going to be scary, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a little bit of fear in this and there, or there could be a third person in this reading. It's possible. Uh, yeah, it's possible here that it is possible there could have been some type of third party here. So let's continue here. And Sagittarius, we have the three vampires here, right? This one's angry with the rebellion. This one here is, uh, she's thinking about her freedom because this is free will, sovereignty, independence, and free spirit, right? It was in the reverse. Okay. So over here we have natural, authentic, real, and organic. This person knows that this is real and natural because you bring tranquility. You bring some type of well-being to this person. Bienestad. That's how they say it in Spanish, right? Which means well-being. But my point here is that uh, your person, when I talked about some type of third party, this rebellion, upstart, tumult, and revolution, your person could be in a war with somebody, possibly. Or they are in some type of a tumultuous situation because... They want change in their life. A revolution is when, you know, people are fighting for change. They're revolting against the, certain, the, uh, the current situation. And then we have, you know, the sovereignty and independence card reversed, free will. I just feel like somebody's cutting themselves free here. And they're coming to be with you. They are. And they feel like you're supernatural, Sagittarius, right? And, you know, natural, real, and organic. Okay, this is great. Like, you guys are supposed to be together. Like, you're fated partners, right? But, you know, she doesn't look real natural, Sagittarius. She shaved her eyebrows, and she's wearing tons of black eyeshadow, okay? Yeah, right underneath, right? All this mascara. So, I don't know about real and organic. <laughs> you could be saying, that's my look. Leave me alone, power and light, right? Uh, but, you know, this is, yeah, it is. It's, it's beautiful here. Because somebody thinks that you're a divine partner. Like, you guys are supposed to be together. This is all natural, right? It's all natural. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we have. And let's see. The future, Sagittarius. Yeah, I kind of want to sing you a song here. But uh, I don't feel like this is the future. I feel like it's right now. And I feel like whoever's daydreaming over here, it could be both of you. Because this looks faded, like you guys are meant to be together supposed to be together and i feel like you probably both know this i think you do and uh with that being said you could be both daydreaming about this coming into play like really happening yeah i feel like this person has to like get their own freedom right because we have free will in the reverse yeah somebody has to have their freedom in this reading i don't know if it's you or them right but this freedom reminds me of the song I was singing. I'm not going to sing it because it's super old fashioned. You guys might laugh, right? But he says in the song, he goes, you set my spirit free. And I'm happy that you do. And I feel like that's what this is about. Yeah. Okay. Nine of swords, knave of swords, and the hermit. I don't feel like this is so much in the near future. I feel like it's part of the spread. Somebody's very worried, worried about this, about, in my opinion, what's going to happen. Maybe it's Virgo over here as the hermit. It could be Leo down here as the strength card. It could be another Sag. And, you know, this is all we have. But it could be the uh, nine other cards, nine other signs, rather, right? So let's look what they say about this Page of Swords, right? And he's, uh, he's standing here with the sword. He's standing kind of on these rocks here. And he's looking out, like, kind of, you know, into the, kind of into the horizon. I don't see the, the sun or the beach here. But... My point is that he's kind of just looking out at, you know, this, the earth in front of him, sort of. Uh, and so, let's see what they say about that. Mm -hmm. This is circumspection and responsibility. So, circumspection is when you kind of are, kind of, you know, thinking about the circumstances, right? You're in introspection, basically, about the circumstances, and about what is in front of you. Somebody's worried about their circumstances here, in my opinion here. And it could have to do with their responsibility. Maybe they're a mom or a dad or something like that, right? And here's the hermit. And here he is. That's, they're showing his back. And this is, uh, it could be material detachment. Somebody could, 
this could be your person or whoever is really it could be either right but this and this could be in the past too somebody might have had some money here in the past like they could have it now nine and ten of pentacles like like you know like material stability and over here uh this could be your person maybe this virgo or just whoever your person might be or you worried about this material detachment like when i go i wonder how much money i'm going to end up with right because we don't know if somebody has responsibility to a family in this reading we're not really sure because you know we're just of course not right it's a general reading but uh mm-hmm Yeah, somebody here, there's a lot of kind of, uh, in this reading, the Page of Swords, possibly in this Page of Cups too, but uh, mm -hmm. I feel like that you're waiting, waiting for them to bring you news about their ideas, like what they want for the future. I, I believe you are. You look like you're kind of in waiting, right? Yeah, like the song, like the reggae saying, I don't want to wait in vain. You might be kind of thinking that by... Uh, He's a big mountain used to sing it they did it the best right i don't think they were really reggae stars but that's a reggae song yeah bob marley did it it's a great song i don't want to wait in vain for your love right mm -hmm. okay we're going to end this reading sagittarius we're going to go to the extended i really want to see it for sure right and they're all super affordable we're going to have this spread here with a different deck on your person we're going to see your perspective over here and we're going to reshuffle these cards or do not reshuffle them. Take the same type of cards, the same from the same two decks here and see what their situation is. Yeah, that's how we like to do it here. We like to be a little, a little innovative. Yeah, we do. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. They're all super affordable. The link is always below the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.